Hello and welcome to part six of the C++ coding homework exercise where we are creating uh, Animal Crossing shapes. So far we created the box, we created the X and today we are going to create the plus. Now the plus is fairly simple. I mean if you realize what it is, it's basically one vertical line and one horizontal line in the middle of the box. We have 15 by 15. So in the middle of it, we'll, we'll draw a vertical line and we'll draw a horizontal line. So uh, I'm going to borrow some of the code again for the uh, outputting the file because that doesn't change. I'm also going to borrow the bottom of it. And in between, I'm going to do our for loop for our plus. So for and it's the standard rows, uh, which is r equals 0. r is less than the number of elements. And r plus plus. And in it, we'll do another for loop. So integer c for columns equals 0. Uh, c is less than the number of elements. And c plus plus. And all we have to do is basically draw two lines in the middle, like I said. So um, we, we need to do, uh, how do we do it in the middle of basically the rows and middle of the column? So when the, we reach the middle of R's, we will draw a line. If we reach the middle of C's, we will draw a line. So if R, R equals the number of elements divided by 2, which is the middle of it, then we will, we will output file, since we are writing into a, into a file, pattern symbol. Else if, so we have our middle of R's, uh, or rows, not middle of the columns, so if C equals the number of elements divided by 2, then we will again output file pattern symbol. And th those are the only two cases where we are going to be outputting a symbol. In every other case, no matter what C or R is, we will simply output, output file, we will output the fill character. Okay, so um, that's really all. After that, after our inner loop, we are going to uh, output an empty line. So output file, an empty line. Now we have this open to append. So this is our first, first uh, pattern for the file. First will be the box, then the X, and then the... Uh, then the plus. So let's run it. Everything ran OK. It's, and let's check our file, our patterns.txt. And we have our box, we have our x, and with the stars, we have our plus. And it starts because as a third, uh, third character is the, is the stars. That's our third uh, pattern contain stars. If I change it, by the way, you know, I can change it to whatever, let's say, change it to R. And if I run it, it changed the file. And so patterns.txt, now I have R's there, you know, so the, the, the character that we use is really irrelevant. You can, you can choose whatever you want in the input file. So um, I'm still using the star. I like it better. All right, so um, I hope everything runs. Yeah, it's still okay. Change the patterns, that txt, because I have it open, so it warns me. And again, I have the box, two empty lines, like the assignment wants us to, and x, and the cross, or the plus sign. And uh, that was fairly simple, like I said. In the next video, we will be doing the draw bordered X. So we will do the X 
and a box around it. So stick around for the next video. I'll see you then.